So Boston Dynamics gave their humanoid robot, Atlas, a thumb. And somehow, that tiny piece of engineering changed everything. Because this isn't just a new hand, this is a robot hand that can feel. You know, it's funny. We always talk about how robots move like humans, run, jump, flip, whatever. But the real magic, that's in how they touch. And for Boston Dynamics, that's been the holy grail. Building a hand that's strong enough to grab a toolbox, but gentle enough to pick up a light bulb without shattering it. Their first gripper. Let's just say it got the job done. It had fingers, sure, but no thumb. Everything was kind of in one straight line. Good for simple grasps, not so much for finesse. Think of it like trying to eat soup with chopsticks. Possible, but painful. So the team said, all right, let's give Atlas a thumb. And that's when things started to get wild. The new hand, called GR2, has seven motors inside it, two for each finger and one for the thumb. Tiny actuators packed into a space smaller than your palm. It's basically mechanical origami on steroids. Each fingertip has tactile sensors, tiny force detectors buried under a soft elastomer skin. That's how Atlas feels what it's touching. It can tell if it's squeezing too hard or not enough, just like you adjusting your grip when holding an egg. That sense of touch means Atlas can now tell when something's slipping, or even when it's dropped something by mistake. It's not just reacting, it's understanding touch. And get this, Atlas can now grasp almost anything you throw at it. Small tools, boxes, fragile cups, doesn't matter. That opposable thumb opens up a whole new world of motion. From simple pinches to stable three-finger grips, it's basically unlocking human-level dexterity. And yes, the engineers did debate adding more fingers, but turns out three is the sweet spot. Less complexity, higher reliability, faster development, basically a robot hand that's simple but smart. Oh, and Atlas has a left and right version now, just like us. It doesn't prefer one over the other, though. If the left hand's angle gives it a better grip, it'll just switch. Total ambidextrous flex. What's crazy is how all this is pushing the design closer and closer to human anatomy. Not because they're trying to copy us, but because the physics of dexterity, the ability to feel, to balance, to sense touch, naturally leads there. So yeah, the thumb might look small, but it represents years of problem solving from ruggedness, because Atlas does fall sometimes, to modularity, to that delicate dance between strength and precision. It's not just about holding things anymore, it's about understanding them. This is the beginning of something bigger, a future where robots don't just move like us, they feel the world the way we do. They gave Atlas a thumb, and suddenly, the line between human and machine just got a little blurrier.